Hello, Scorpios. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the week of January the 4th to January 10th. This reading is for all of the Scorpios out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of January 4th to January 10th. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If this reading doesn't resonate with your sun sign, check out your moon, venus, or rising sign videos. And maybe one of those videos will resonate with your situation better. If you want to support the channel, hit the subscribe link as well as the thumbs up image and the notification bell. So that you are notified when new vi videos are posted. And thank you in advance. Okay, let's cut the deck. My dog tried to chew up my cards. So some of uh, two, at least two to three of them are going to look a little shabby. Okay. Spirit, what is the energy for the sign of Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. For the week of January 4th to January 10th. Okay. So we have the Eight of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. Okay. The star card Aquarius energy is here. Some of you may be done with a, an Aquarius or have Aquarius in your chart. We have the Queen of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles. The death card. This is your energy. And the magician. Virgo, Gemini energy. At the bottom of the deck, we have the chariot. Cancer's energy. Some of you may... um, Yeah. Some of you are definitely thinking about moving on from something. Turning your back and just walking away. Could be from a cancer. Where some of you are definitely thinking about turning your back and moving away from something. That I feel like you've been working on for a long time. Maybe seven or eight years. Seven or eight months. Or seven or eight weeks. But some of you have been working on this for a while now. And I feel like you're waiting for some type of reward to come in. You're, re you're waiting for some type of acknowledgement, some type of attention that you want. Some success. And I feel like you are hoping, you're hoping for the best with this star card, Aquarius energy. You're hoping that things work out in your favor. But I feel like. I feel like someone, either you or someone else, may be too busy or just like always doing something, juggling multiple things, multiple people. And I feel like that's what's causing you to want to walk away. Yeah, because it's back again with the Five of Pentacles. It's causing you to want to walk away or causing them to want to walk away. I feel like you may be going through a transformation with the Death Card. You're going through a transformation, trying to manifest something new with within this situation, or trying to manifest to move how you want to move away from it. Yeah. Three of Cups could be too many people 
involved in a situation and there's a decision on the table should i stay should i go because there are someone has options and i feel like a cycle is ending and a new one is going to begin yeah you're going to have a wish fulfillment but i feel like you need to move away from this situation or this person but there could be children involved and this person may just want to reconnect or stay connected to you because of the children. They may be immature, may be spying on you. This person could be younger than you. But I feel like you want to cut this off so that you can be, you're thinking about cutting this off so you can be victorious in the situation. Things will come full circle for you. You and this person may be at a distance from each other. But I feel like you want victory and success. Because this person has brought you some disappointment. They brought you disappointment. And you need a strength and coverage to move forward. To end the cycle so that a new one can begin. Could be dealing with a, a Leo, another Scorpio, an Aquarius, or a Taurus. But I feel like you, someone's going to speak their truth about this situation. And it's going to bring in some type of enlightenment and happiness. Could be with a Leo. Someone's going to speak their truth about this situation. And it's going to bring in some type of enlightenment towards the situation. Enlightenment as well as a tower is going to rock the foundation. Scorpio Aries energy is going to rock the foundation of this union because someone is cutting some someone is going to be cut off. That's what the the the, the honesty the the truth is is that someone Wants to turn their back and cut someone off with their queen of swords. Because I feel like with the ten of want swords in the reverse, someone is tired of feeling disappointed and backstabbed. So they're walking away. Someone doesn't want to feel backstabbed anymore. Betrayed by the other person. So they're turning their back and walking away. Moving towards something else. Working on their finances. Focusing on themselves. Yeah. Traveling. Someone. Someone is moving away from toxicity. Or a Capricorn. Because they were arguing. Fights. Conflict. And I feel like someone wants stability in their life. They're manifesting stability. Someone is manifesting stability at this time. <clears throat> What's the outcome? Yep. And they want this to come in quickly. So this conversation is going to occur quickly. Because someone is left up at night anxious, worrying about what's going on, trying to gain some type of wisdom because of some type of inner conflict. Could be verbal verbal arguments or physical fighting. Some type of conflict that's taking place. Or it will take place. And someone wants to just move towards love. They don't someone doesn't, yeah. See? Someone, Scorpio, this is you. Wanting to move towards love. You don't want to fight and argue anymore because you know your worth. You're looking for your worth. You know your worth. So you want to move towards love. Tired of the arguing, the bickering, and the fighting. And you're going to put your, you're going to work on this situation within yourself. You feel like the wounded warrior. Feeling like you put all this work in and you're getting nothing back in return. Yeah. So you're turning your back. The king of pentacles. 
feeling like you're restricted. You can't do anything. Yep. Tired of being heartbroken. Tired of feeling blocked. Feeling like your back is up against the wall. Because someone has options. Or either you you're, you want options or you want to see um, eye to eye with someone. And I feel like you're not, um, you're not seeing eye to eye with this person. Yeah. Someone may um, make um, rash decisions, do things, um, maybe being immature or just doing, not thinking logically. Someone may behave irrationally at times. Yeah, so it leaves you uncertain of where things are going to end up or how they're going to turn out. But you're setting off on a new journey, uncertain of where you're going to end up, how you're going to end up. Some of you may feel like a fool. Some of you may be dealing with someone that's a trickster. But I feel like there is love here. Many. I feel like there is love between you two. But just because you love someone doesn't mean that you have to be with them. That's what people have to understand. Because love could, you could love, sometimes love, certain types of love is toxic. Yeah. See, someone um, may want to have a higher level of commitment could be your twin flame but they're not giving enough not doing enough to get there so scorpio this is your reading for the week of january 4th to january 10th comment below let me know if this is your story share like and subscribe as well hit the notification bell be safe i'm sending love light peace and healing energy thank you for watching and i will see you next time enjoy the rest of your week bye